All righty. Are we live? Yeah. All righty. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Son of a Boy Dead live Wednesday episode. We are here. Where's the, where's the link? Where's the link? Voting. Where's what? Oh, I got the link. Um, Roan is here, but he's going to be like 10 minutes late because he's got a. Uh, He's rapping for the sales team. Is that right? Yeah. No, he really is. Like gifts? I don't or... think he actually is, but they asked him to. They asked him to rap. They asked him to do a rap for the whole sales that's team. Crazy. To morale. We're, we're not even near yeah. like uh, Christmas or anything. No, that's funny. thought you were in a goofy mood today. Bomb. One, one for one. No, that was definitely an 0 for one. One for one. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I had a good morning. Talk to me. I finally got some sleep. Um... The rats have been keeping me up at night. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what's going on. They finally moved the scaffolding outside of my building, but the rats have just been screaming all <laughs> night, dude. It's crazy. Like, I thought it was birds at first, and then I realized it was rats. And I sit in my living room, and I just hear, Ree! That's how they sound. Ee! The whole night. It's fucking insane. Well, what can you do about <laughs> There's nothing you can do. I thought about just like get, bringing my big ass thing of spray out and just spraying outside the building. But I feel like that's there's probably laws against that. I don't think do I can spray gun? for the building. No, but I have a lot of spray. Dude, you know what I used to have? Because I lived in a, a garden apartment a couple apartments ago. And oh, that's got to be a fucking war zone. Well, sure is. And we had crickets. Oh, yeah. That got into the air duct, which was metal. And their chirps were, it was as if they were in, like, stomp. Yeah, they're loud as hell. It was Blue Man Group <laughs> making sounds. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah, it's bad. It's not and you good. Can't, can't get after them. No. I would go up and I'd bang the vent. No, crickets go aren't quiet. scared of anything. And then I would. You can pick up a cricket. They don't get scared. They'll jump, but you can easily get them. Is that right? Yeah. You never picked up a cricket before? No, I've picked up a few. Yeah, they're not like uh, like that. I can't imagine you making the banging thing had any impact. on No, that. they would just go quiet for a second, and then they would go right back to rubbing oh, their yeah. things together to make that. Yeah, I, they I don't really do a good cricket. Can you it's, do cricket? No, it's tough to do a cricket. No, that's not it. I like the sound though, but I wouldn't like it when I'm in my apartment. No, constant's tough. But I like when you're outside and you can hear the crickets. It's a pulsing. It's a yeah. pulsing cricket. Well, that's pretty much all I've got. Oh, did I tell you? Noises. Did I tell you about the sweater? No, I was actually just going to ask about that because it looks like something that. Well, did you buy that on purpose? See, I knew you. I knew you'd say that, but that's beneath you. <laughs> that happened. You know, you know me well enough to know I wouldn't buy a sweater like this. I, I genuinely could easily see you buying. a sweater You think like I'm that. distressed sweater guy? Well, the neck even is distressed. Well, that's just because I I wore it for for strenuous activities. What happened? <laughs> I mean, if that's not on purpose, it, did you get caught in a fucking barbed wire <laughs> chase? Like, how barbed does a sweater... Ah, the old sweater, barbed wire chase. Well, seriously, how does All a right. sweater get that See ripped? how far you can get <laughs> How does a sweater get that ripped? barbed wire maze. What happened? Uh, I landed in... I guess it must have been, like, Austin or somewhere. So this while happened ago. a while ago, and you're still wearing the sweater. Just why don't you so let that me point, finish the fucking <laughs> story? I I landed in Austin somewhere hot, and I'd worn my sweater down there. I got off the plane, realized it was hot, took the sweater off, put it over the handle of my rolling suitcase, and started walking to the Uber area. And kept thinking, man, the wheels on my rolling suitcase are really not moving very well. But I just kept pulling even harder. Yeah, and of course I looked back and saw that. The Your sleeve of was... my sweater had gotten caught in the wheels. Do you see where this is going? I do, but I, I don't understand how this ends up to you wearing it today. I'm glad you see because I was I, I told 95% of the story. That was the whole story? Well, what do you think happened? I don't know. I'm assuming you pulled it out and the sweater was torn apart. Exactly. And then you still managed to wear it today. Well, right. So so you, <laughs> you... So at that point, you may as well just buy a ripped sweater because you said it was beneath you to buy a ripped sweater. No. Well, You're wearing yes. a ripped sweater. It's not that it's beneath me. It's that I wouldn't. You do want it. an authentically ripped sweater? No, I wouldn't like wear one that I, I wouldn't buy one that's on was the already the mothership. Ripped. I wouldn't wear. Yes, that's right. Yeah, I wouldn't buy one that was already ripped. Okay, but it's even though it's already brutally ripped, 
you're still gonna wear it. Because this happened organically, I to me it's fine. There's valor in it. Yeah, I it's think. like um I don't know how to put it. It's it's authentic. It's authentically distressed. Yeah, that's how, exactly what I said. But like the problem is ago. every time I wear this sweater, someone like you Well, it is says, the ultimate joke. Did you pay less for that because of the holes? <laughs> yeah. It is a good joke. Thinking, I've never been a ripped clothes guy. I thought I was going to be a ripped jeans guy at one point in my life, but then you I decided. Did? Yeah. When was that? I don't know. Probably when I was going, when I was probably in high school. I was like, maybe I'll become a ripped jeans guy. <laughs> I always thought I was I also thought I was going to be a black skinny jeans guy. Ooh, but I a lot know. of people were doing that around yeah. like 2019. Yeah, that was cool. Everyone was wearing black mm -hmm. skinny jeans. Sort of drop top with the flat ass. Yeah. It's the, it only comes to the bottom of your cheeks and somehow they don't fall down. How don't they fall down? Belts. How, but they're but they're <laughs> but they're <laughs> but they're not even on your butt. <laughs> they're below the butt. I don't know. I've never really had a pair of pants that just falls down. But you were in touch with that generation of kids that were able to do that. How did you do that? Sagging? Yeah, sagging. You think in suburban Massachusetts there was a lot of kids sagging their you jeans? Just admitted to it. No. I was going to wear black skinny jeans at a normal, like, above my Oh, ass. you were going to have them all the way up? Yes. Uh, yeah, no, I was not going to ever be a guy who was going to be wearing his jeans at his below his ass. Do you know who I'm talking now about? Now I know, yeah, black guys. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking guys like Justin Bieber and stuff. Yeah, they were doing that. Yeah, you made it weird. Well, they those Justin Bieber in that era wished he was a black guy. Did he did? Yes, 100%. Did he say versa. that? They, why? Vice versa. Vice versa? Yeah. They wish they were him? No way. Huh. Well, I guess Justin Bieber did have a heavy influence on everyone, including young boys, even though they liked to like the, the ultimate straight move back when you were a kid was being like having this like deeply hatred, deep hatred for Justin Bieber. And you had to like express it constantly. Really? You always had to be like, I fucking hate <laughs> Justin Bieber. Huh. Even though he like no one had any reason to. It was just like that was the move when you were like a middle school boy. Why? So that no one thought you were gay. Yeah, it's funny you say that because we battled that too. But who it, was your guy? It Prince? Was more like no, it was uh, B Backstreet Boys. Backstreet, uh, Backstreet Boys. Boys makes sense. Backstreet yeah, Boys. I can see that. Prince. They're a little fruity though. Prince. I don't know. Just throwing out a name. Judas is scary. <laughs> uh, Prince. Elvis. <laughs> Backstreet Boys in sync, but more Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys, I get with their fucking synchronized dancing Dude, and shit. Dude, TC Half and Refer had the Backstreet Boys CD, and I don't even know how he got it. And he did this big show of destroying it with a sort of like a tool. He was just fucking it up because he yeah. wanted everyone to know how straight he really was. Yeah. TC Half and Refer. Yeah, I get that. And then we I walked think... in on him getting fucked by the English teacher. Really? <laughs> no. Sounds like he no, did. That didn't happen. That would have been uh, statutory rape. True, it would have been because of the age difference. There is a good age difference there. Did you ever have did that ever happen at your school? That's eh, probably a dark topic. We don't need to get into that. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I don't mind. We. I know there was a big one in Maine pretty recently. Did not at probably my like ten school, years ago. Not that I know of. I don't think we did. But I want to hear your story. Oh no, it's not my story. There was just a I know of a story. Are you sure it's not your story? Yes, I was not molested as a child by a teacher, at least. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I wished I was. I can tell. <laughs> there was a hot teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you meant for, like, uh, settlement's sake. Oh, no. No, that would have been an odd. By the way, in life. there's a story. All right, you talk for Tell Tell your statutory situation. I was not in a statutory situation, and I don't really want to tell it because I feel like I uh, cat's out of the bag now. I can't put that toothpaste back in the tube. I feel like I like I don't know. There was just a, I I know there was a teacher in Maine who like got in trouble, and it was a whole big story. But you had one at your school. But one of my friends went to that school. What was that story? I'm trying to find this other story for you. This is insane. Why are you looking through your messages to find it? Because it's <laughs> it's in my messages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's in my messages. But no, that was pretty much the whole story. I don't, I, I, it was a pretty dark story, so it's not really that funny. Oh, well, then you most know. of those stories are pretty dark. Most of them, there, there's not a lot of laughs in most you, of them. Can you tell it in more of like a lighthearted way? No, because there's really not a light. I guess one of the funny things was that the teacher got caught Snapchatting 
with students and she was like i always snapchat with my students that's how we communicate with them she was like i like to use snapchat instead of email yeah that seems pretty which was right and the the the, like the the jury was like that does make sense (laughs) (laughs) she didn't get in trouble she got in no trouble all right let me tell you this story so this kid and i'm just going to paraphrase a little bit but you can look this up and i don't think he'd mind me telling this story on son of a boy dad yeah, that's kind of why I didn't tell mine. This young man um, told me that uh, he liked he liked my work or something. And I said, oh, thank you. And then he said, well, when I was in high school, um, <laughs> he was dressed up, I think, in a gigantic clown costume. And the it's entire... The entire student body beat the shit out of him <laughs> during a pep rally, <laughs> and he sued the right. school. This is already a good story. For ten and a half. And you don't have to paraphrase. Settled for ten and a half million dollars. Damn. From what school? You can look this up. Can you look stuff up? Like look up the clown beating in Maine. I don't know if it was a clown costume. It was some <laughs> kind of a costume. And the reason that he won the settlement was because it was at a pep rally. And I think the principal or or the teacher had encouraged the students to go beat this kid up. And he was part of the school. They all knew it was him. Yeah. And they pig piled on him and they 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 gave him traumatic brain damage he had to relearn how to talk oh it was a chicken suit chicken suit mm, not as funny i think chicken's funny clown suit is hilarious <laughs> was he wearing he was dressed as a full-on chicken dressed in a that full is pretty funny chicken suit that must have been a wild day at school the guy who shot drake and degrassi was in a chicken suit really yeah i don't know if it was an homage it might have been yeah maybe that maybe like degrassi just dropped <laughs> yeah. and they were like get that fucking guy <laughs> For what he did to Drizzy. <laughs> what you say? What did he do to Aubrey? Yeah, he was Aubrey. Though. Yeah. Yeah, he was that's when he was still going by Aubrey. I've seen that. That's clip. that fucking guy that shot Aubrey. <laughs> Get him. Get him. The teachers are all pissed. Did you watch Degrassi? No. I just I've seen clips of it. Uh-huh. Yeah, so this kid got beat up uh, is by a school, whole school as a chicken. I can't read the article because it's paywalled. There's a clip of it, too. There's a video? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Just beating the shit. I thought he sent me this. I thought he was fucking with me. That's crazy. That must have been the craziest day of all time. Imagine going home to your parents after that. Not well, the chicken couldn't. guy. No, he not the chicken the guy. The other people. Like, at the people, they were like, How was, that was the pep rally. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, or they were Best like... Best pep rally of all time. I might be in trouble. Yeah. Um, if the I, cops come by the house later. I was at the bottom of the pig pile, <laughs> and I took a couple Liberty licks at the old chicken. People were probably... So, dude, that, that's like the best way to get a school fired up for the year. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Let's all I knew beat nobody the would, fuck out of this I guy. Knew nobody would see me. <laughs> I knew nobody Kyle would see me. Kyle should the... do a sequel to the Monkey Boy doc about this. Yeah, they should. Find this guy. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah. yeah he's cool he's a cool guy i mean he's really you know he's grown i think he's i think he's been become more appreciative of life and and all that i'm sure yeah yeah he got a second lease yeah that's crazy he does a big golf trip every year and he invited me to come on it and he said how much would something like that cost and i he had told me this whole story he's money's probably not an issue for him well, so that was my point like he a, a, initially i was like man i probably i should probably do that for free for the guy who was beaten up in the chicken costume and had to relearn how to walk talk and swing a golf club but then he told me how much he settled for and i was like that'd be twenty thousand dollars yeah that's crazy oh he wanted you to do stand up on it no no just come out and play golf in the golf tournament with him oh that's interesting actually, i actually think i said 15. But now that I'm thinking about it, it should have been 20. Yeah, 10 million is a lot. I would probably get, eh, that's pretty rough. Getting beaten by the entire school. Yeah, it's no good. But it is a really good way to, like, get the whole school to, like, that's, like, a bonding exercise. They all probably, after that, they were probably like, we are all one. Like, we're all going to take, we're going to go to the grave with this. All right. Honest question. What brings a school school body together more? Communal beating of a chicken, chicken or a school shooting? That you all oh, definitely together. the chicken really yeah 100 mm-hmm. percent. 
School shooting divides it. Definitely. Does it? Yeah, because yeah. you become like a face of one of the two parties. Yeah, and mm-hmm. everyone, On yeah. Twitter, at least. Yeah, you don't want to be, that's, I don't think that brings the school together at all. I also think you, like, don't even really see anybody for another, like, year after that happens. Why? Because they have to, like, shut down the school. Oh. I don't think it's like, let's all go back in the next day. Yeah. You can go to school <laughs> next day after beating up a chicken. A hundred percent. They probably all went to gym class after that. To what? Went to cool like history. down? Yeah. <laughs> they probably also went on with their day. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I got a test after this. Imagine having to take a t- <laughs> You got a big trigonometry test. Teacher goes, why is everyone sweating? Yeah. They're like, you missed it? The pep rally was fucking nuts. <laughs> Bloody knuckled up. Did they know it was a student or was that like... Yes, that's the, that's why... They all knew who the student was. That's why it was horrific is that they knew who was him and it was the teacher, I think, who uh, pushed everyone and was like, go, get him, get him. Yeah. <laughs> it's David in there. They must have started as kind of like they wanted to make it like a friendly little gag. Well, I think if you look at the video and you can find the video... I would love to see the video. They're pig piling on him. But the question remains... Why did they pick pile and then beat the shit out of him? It probably just cr- it probably started as like a pig pile, like let's all jump on the chicken, and then in it, somewhere in there probably got tram <laughs> mixed in. Someone accidentally threw a jab trying to get up. Yeah, it could be. And too. then another person was like, "Oh shit, we're fighting the chicken now." <laughs> or someone was like, "He's fighting back." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like that video of the fucking the crips getting initiated into the gang oh i've never seen that fight back you've never seen that do they tell him to fight back they get they get jumped by like the whole gang yeah i know that back and for what like a minute or 45 seconds you just a get a good amount of time everyone beating. everyone's just beating the fuck out of him and they're yelling fight back you can't fight back well you try oh you did what year was this oh four uh maybe that sounds like a long time ago when did you graduate high school? I was like seven. Did you go to high school? Yeah. 2019. Wow. Yeah. You ever guys ever get in fights and stuff? No. People up? No. There was one fight when I was in eighth grade, and that was a big deal. But it was always like, anytime there was a fight, it would be like some weird kid would transfer to our high school and like try and kill someone, and then they would like beat the fuck out of them. But it'd always be like the other weird kid that already went to our school. They would like have like intense beef. All the weird. I don't weird. It was always the kids that were like smoking weed in like seventh grade. <laughs> Yo, you, you got it? Can you angle the computer our way? Or? This is fucked up, man. Boy, we really need Roan, don't we? Should be here soon if he's done spitting. Spitting? He said we can go. They said we could go over four, though. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we can draft movie snacks. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do a draft at some point for sure. All right. Oh, you texted it. Yeah, I have to keep my computer. Logged we can't. We can't pull. Uh, we can't pull it up on the big screen, right? All right. Let's see here. Um. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah. I don't have it. He gave it to you. Let's see. Yeah. If you're watching at home, you got to look up this chicken beatdown so you can watch that with us. It's an ad. <laughs> I guess we probably shouldn't talk about this anymore. No, we it's should move on. It's bad. Yeah, it's becoming we're bad radio. I wasn't expecting that to, <laughs> to go well, as Well, I do want to see did. it, but it doesn't really help if just we watch it from this angle and no, no one's going to see it. You kept mining it. Um, even you though guys I need knew. to like cut to music breaks, I have APM. <laughs> I can play songs. I oh knew. yeah, they fucking. Am- oh dude, his head pops out. Oh dude, they knew who he was from the jump. The mask falls off. Oh, this definitely was a while ago because this camera. This is like similar to like the videos of like nine eleven. That's a f- <laughs> <laughs> like that similar camera. It's a flip phone. As a flip phone. I was watching a 9-11 documentary. Oh, dude, they beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> the other night. I don't know why I chose to oh, watch dude, it. Oh, dude, the whole school is jumping on him. <laughs> the whole school. 
<laughs> like like the cheerleaders are getting in the mix. Dude, you got ten and a half million. Think about like how much that whole football team. It's all dudes wearing jerseys. Yeah. Are they like playing a team called the Chickens the next week? And uh, that might like... that might have been it. It has to be. The they whole football team playing... jumped on him. He might have been dressed as the mascot for the opposing school. I bet that's what it was. Something like that. That's but they like knew Russell it was Brand him. Russell Brand going as Bin Laden. Yeah, to work yeah. The next day. Who did? Russell Brand. After what? 9-11. He went to work as Bin Laden? Yeah. I'll pull up the article. I wonder why. That's pretty fucking ballsy. Yeah, that's... Uh... He does... that, that's like before Bin Laden had even claimed credit. No, they all thought it was Saddam Hussein. No, that's not right. It is. I think you, it was eighty percent of America thought Saddam Hussein was in charge of nine eleven until yeah, like two thousand ten. You always do this. We always get into the the weeds on nine eleven, and you weren't <laughs> but it's even true. alive. But it's true. You can look it up. Yeah. Yikes. Um. Oh, we are. Oh, we're good. So, so Sass and I went to Roan's apartment on Monday night. Yes, massive apartment. Yeah, it's like a warehouse. It's bigger yeah. than this office. You could rollerblade in there. You could do anything in there. It's the I I was walking in, I saw the building, and I was like, "Ah, right, this is pretty fucking crazy." Doorman, pretty wild. And then I got up to his floor, and it was like all of the doors. The doors to get into the apartments are like these massive fucking doors. Big doors. They're like 20 foot doors. Bank vault. Doors. Yeah. And then you walk in and it was like Roan all the way on the other side of the apartment, which was like a mile away. A mile. <laughs> like Roan looks like. Did you guys walk, sprint, jog? It was, I mean, Francis was running around the apartment. I'm trying to figure out what the. Do you remember I came in? I was, I brought a whole plate of food that I yeah. just cooked. Yeah. You think that's weird? No, not at all. I showed up with a plate of dinner that I had well, just Because they live cooked. in the same building. And I brought a plate so of dinner. just came down from the mm. floor above. And then I had to create a, sit a seating area for myself mm. to eat my dinner while they ordered food. Yeah, we got And if wings. I'd known you guys were going to order food, I probably wouldn't have cooked myself dinner. Well, food. I didn't know we were ordering food either. I thought you were cooking us all dinner. How about this? <laughs> How about you texted this? me. Yeah, and you didn't respond. I, said, I was busy. Do you want dinner? And you I know, said, and I was busy. What? Too too busy to say yes or no? Yes, I was on the phone. You can't speaker quick out dinner. No, I didn't even know I got texted. But <sighs> dude, shocking! I texted Rome yesterday, and I was like, I can't stop thinking about how fucking big your apartment is. That's yeah, big. Yeah. It, dude, it's like you walk in and Roan is like this big. It's like the it's like when you see the comparison of the earth to the sun. Yeah. You yeah. know those comparisons where it's sure. just the blue dot? That's Roan inside of his apartment. Yeah. The ceilings are like 70 feet tall. Yeah, it's him taking a piece in the middle of the night. It's like the long tracking shots. Oh, Blade dude. Runner. It's crazy. It's insane. And it's like, it's like uh have you ever seen the dude that created kombucha? This is the comparison that I use. Have you ever seen that video like the old Cody Co and Noel Miller video? Yes. Yeah. It's like that's what his apartment looks like. It's like all minimal. Like this table would definitely be in there, but it would be worth like twenty thousand dollars. It wouldn't be this one. And it's like that would be this would just be like in the center of like a massive room, and there would be nothing else in the room. And it'd be like, holy shit, look at that fucking table. Like they have this big ass. Table they have this room. massive like a uh, dining table, mm -hmm. thirty feet long. And there's just two chairs on both ends. Are we giving too much in info? I feel like you're giving too much info on Ron's apartment. What is the info that I gave that he has a dining room table? Think, I don't know. It's his home. <laughs> there's a lot of like really personal stuff you're saying about his apartment. What? Oh.
Yeah, it's live. It's great. It is? Yeah. Sorry, we lost you there for a second, everybody. We're back. This is Son of a Boy Dad. Live podcast. A couple technical difficulties. We're talking about chickens getting beaten up. Generally, don't know what the hell just happened. We were just chilling. And it's the bar stool difference. Everything exploded. I think the Wi Fi actually went up. I, don't know. I have no idea. Feels um, like the Chicago guys aren't playing fair anymore. <laughs> it was an interruption in the feed. We're back. <laughs> Roan, Roan, Roan. Really need them for the show. Yeah. No, no, we got this. <laughs> well, so let's, let's, um, let's talk about So you. let's get back to the chicken. Let's get really let's get back down to it that guy got fucking pummeled yeah he got beat up what the hell yeah they turned him into uh cup. <laughs> he was flat uh, butterfly chicken exactly now sass is it still alive yeah. all right good what'd you say back to roan's apartment oh yeah we don't have to talk about roan's apartment anymore well i wanted I you away. to i came in i was excited to have some drinks drinks with roan boys night monday night football birds yeah. game lost everything lost i've been up i was up 400 dollars last week in betting it's all gone four dollars in the account Oof. nice so we're watching the game i mean that's tough to do and <laughs> i'm drinking a beer and roan's having a beer he's had a couple and i sass won't drink He's, I don't understand why this is such a big. It was a Monday night, and I was like, "I'm not drinking because I drank all weekend. And I'm going to Skankfest tomorrow." But this is my yeah, point. I was going to interrupt. It sounds like you have a problem. Yeah. You well, do. I don't normally. I didn't. I don't drink that often. But when because I you only drink when you're with me. Do I want my friends to drink? I want you to be drinking with me. Yeah, but I didn't want to drink. You are opting. You're saving your drinking. You're like get forcing me to have a sober sass night. So that you can save your drinking nights for other friends. I'm saving that my drinking nights for the weekend, and when I don't have to my do feelings. Shit. That's what you should do. You should save your drinking nights for nights where you can drink. Come on, since when do you have any structured of week situation? Always. I don't. I don't like to drink on the weekdays. That's not true. We always drink together on the, during the week. Maybe on like a Thursday, Wednesdays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. I don't drink. It. I don't drink Wednesday, Tuesday. Also got a weekend. Men, Wednesday is a weekend, so I drink sometimes Wednesday, <laughs> sometimes Thursday, usually Friday, Saturday, and I try to only really drink heavily one night a week. What night? Doesn't I don't know. What depends. Tomorrow night, definitely. Oh. Yeah. My point being, you know, but if, hopefully take it easy Friday, Saturday. If you if your friends are putting something together like that and it's a fun thing, I think you I actually be, don't really like drinking while I watch football. I like to just ball out. I think you should be drinking. No. Is it still going or now?
option to switch, and the USB is no longer there. Back now. They're back on? Yeah. <laughs> Third time to try. Hopefully, are right, you guys alive? Yeah. 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 Honestly, Mike, just we should start drinking. Pop it on for the cameras. Yo, it's for real. <laughs> yeah. 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 Are we back or no? Yes. Yeah, back. Yeah. yeah. Boy, I told them before. Yeah. Sass, we're back. All right. We're back. I think. I don't even remember what we were talking about. The chicken. Oh, there we go. Oh, back to the chicken. It's shocking how many people stayed watching. We only lost like 200 viewers. Yeah, this shit just goes green and then pops out randomly. Yeah, that's probably when they get the most excited. <laughs> Can we pull that off? Because I don't want to look at the yeah. comments. Anyway. All right. Well, we're back. Let's just take this thing from the top, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So... Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad Podcast. We are live for the third time today. And uh, a lot of people like to talk shit about our work ethic. But I don't know a lot of people that have gone live three times in one day. <laughs> so that's always a plus. Um, what were you going to say? Well, it's like I just stomped you there. No, that's okay. I didn't have anything. I took the reins. Yeah. Well, we're here. We're going to do this every Wednesday. As you guys all know, Roan is doing a rap battle upstairs that seems to be going over time. Um, and that is that. You got any big plans for the weekend, Francis? Are you on anywhere fun? Uh, well. Are you going go upstate? Like, are you on the road this weekend? No. Well, I've got golf on oh, Thursday. Yeah, Friday. go to that. Go see Francis in New York City. Sold Scott. out. Sold Ooh. out. Sorry. And even if you wanted to. They sold like hotcakes, he said. Yeah. Added how many shows? Well, we only added the one on the late one on Thursday. That's still more than zero. And then they decided to cancel it. No. Yeah. Why? I'll tell you. <laughs> what the fuck? I, Didn't it I, sell out? It was but the other two sold hey. out. Hey, Roan. Yeah, Roan's here. Out, out. All right. We're, Roan, uh, we've had a hard time. We've had a lot of technical difficulties. Very no. hard time. Stream went out twice. No. It's been one of the one of the worst episodes of Swap <laughs> no. yeah. of all time. Wait, is it recording though? Yeah, but they're putting it on the old row feed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a struggle. T-shirts. <laughs> it has not been going well. Um, are we good now? Is it live? Yeah, we've been live this whole time. The video goes in and out. But oh, yeah. they've been able to hear us when we Not weren't. Now, you mean, no, no, no. Oh, smart, smart. Why were you guys saying some nasty things? Well, as soon as we saw that the cameras had cut out, we thought that's our opportunity to throw out a whole bunch of racist slurs. Yeah, racist slurs are old, bro. Uh, homophobic slurs are the ones. Those are in now. I think so. Those are in. Yeah, people are going with these days. Don't act like you don't know. I don't. I just go with them all, dude. I don't know which Sass, ones. Which ones are Sass better? Sass was talking about your apartment. I was, and he said why? I was giving away too why? much information. Why? Why are you talking about it? Why did you not even wait until I got here? <laughs> That's what I said. Dude, we were out of stuff to talk about. What did you... <laughs> he mentioned it had a table, and Francis was like, fuck that. I said, it. I said you have a big-ass table with two chairs. And he was like, I feel like you're giving away too much information. And uh, 10 said, seconds later, we're going to be able to geolocate me. That's yeah. not what you said. You said he's got this big table and it's right near the bathroom, which had skid marks in the toilet. <laughs> no, 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 no. Did you, you say that I had skid marks? No, I didn't. Thank you for not telling me. You didn't have skid marks. I would, if you did have skid marks, I would say something, but you didn't. <laughs> you light me up. You did have, there's a, there's a whole thing of roaches in your bathroom, though. Like the, the joints. You get some raid? <laughs> you spray those things not, not the bad kind. <laughs> Dude, speaking of roaches, my roach motels eliminated all of the roaches. I haven't seen a single roach since I put them down. Because they know. They're not fucking stupid. No, they go and they get the bait and they bring it back and it kills all of them. No, I think that they see that and they, they tell the boys. They probably do. There's been no mice and no roaches because it is a fuck. I mean, there's traps everywhere. He's <laughs> got rats now. Well, I don't have rats. The rats screaming are outside of the rats. apartment. And they scream He's got all screaming night. rats. <laughs> what kind of scream? Ray! Ray! 
<laughs> Are you sure? Wildly that, annoying. I think you're mispronouncing the word cats. No, dude. That's <laughs> what the rats sound like. They scurry around all outside no, my apartment. I think you mean cats. It's so obnoxious. Yeah, you're thinking of cats, but I can understand why you would have mixed those two you're up. You're thinking of Rum Tum Teaser. Dude. I know what I'm hearing because at first I thought it was birds because it's like a chirping. Dude, it's a long do you know chirp. any animals at all? Yes, it's a long chirping noise, and then I realized it's rats. You think that? Uh, re- that's more of a pig squeal. This is—I don't know how to do the noise. That's as—that's as good as I can make it. When when they were screaming, I was really thinking it was something like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be awesome if that's what it was. Yeah, but it's a fucking. It's bad because I'm right it- there. I'm right by the street, so I can hear the rats, and then I hear people on the phone walking by my apartment, like yelling. They're always in fights. Dude, Everyone's always just... on the phone. At, anytime someone walks by my apartment on their phone. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, see? I did a pretty good job. Wow, that is pretty good. That's what are I they hear. in pain? No. It's probably the ones that you gave the poison to probably. that are like giving it to their family. And <laughs> I think if they even get their too bloodline. close to my apartment, they die. <laughs> yeah. Because of how much poison there is. It's like uh, Star Wars. It's like uh, Ronald Reagan's space defense program from the exactly. 80s. Yeah, you know Star Wars. Yeah. About. Of course I do. The Cold War. Of course, bro. Can't forget it. We know all about that shit. The Cold War does not count as a war, though. Really? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Sporkle, Sporkle said me? it. Sporkle <laughs> said it's not a war. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's like because there's no there was no troops because no one I guess no one died. <laughs> Francis, kick those feet up there. Are you, you know the Korean about, War is still happening. About Vietnam? No, the Cold War. You know, no one died in Vietnam. Vietnam right? was the police action. No, I know. I know what V. I, I would not mistake the Cold War for Vietnam. Well, you <laughs> could a pretty big mix up. You might. No, you could because you're because you're so fucking young. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> wasn't alive idiot. back in Nam like you guys. Yeah, we and Francis were going to get drafted. Yeah, <laughs> me and Francis moved to Cuba so we wouldn't get drafted. Yeah, we took turns uh, hacking each other's thumbs off. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what they do. Because in World would... War One, they would stick their fingers up out of the out of the trenches so that someone would shoot them in the finger. So they could go home. That takes a pretty good shot. Yeah. Well, I think they were kind of just hoping. I don't think there was like someone on the other side aiming for fingers. Mm. What was the war movie that came out this year? All Quiet on the Western Front? Yeah. yeah. Did I you guys watch that? that? No, it. but I've heard it's real. Ooh, I watched it. I watched that's it. so fire. I just watched The Covenant. Insane. Covenant's good, too. Covenant's good. I, I didn't like how I found out halfway through that it's not real. Well, how'd you find out? Because how, you searched for the ending. Yeah, no, I searched to see if it was a true story because because it got so crazy that I was like, is this this really happened? I've been I've referenced that movie like the last eight podcasts we've done. Really? I fucking love that movie. That movie's Covenant? great. Yeah, it's, it's a good so ass movie. Good. Guy Ritchie's the Covenant. Guy Ritchie's, yeah. of course. Yeah, you can't forget it's Guy Ritchie's. <laughs> it's got to be a good. It's got to be a strong movie if you're gonna have your name in the title. It did feel a little Arab savior y to me. <laughs> Yeah. Arab saviory. What yeah. does that even mean? You know, like uh, I think you mean white savior. No, he's not the savior. The white dude? No, the, a- the Arab, Arab dude. The Arab guy saves him. Saves he him. drags him out of the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He does save him, but then the white dude saves him too. No, in it's, a much more heroic it's fashion. Definitely. He puts it all back on the line. He goes back out to war to save him. Uh, the Arab guy carried him in a wagon over mountain ranges and through the Hindu Kush healthy debate mountains and <laughs> yeah. was did way more to say he, him than he Jake was Jones. badass J- jake Joan hall got some papers in order jake Joan hall went back out onto the field yeah but i mean he wouldn't have been able to even do that if the arab guy hadn't even done it's his true. thing you know first. who is most thankful for that movie on. is uh the the arabic stunt actors and background guys who hadn't got booked in a movie since like 2012 when everyone was like we're at we have too many arab villains in the movies and so they kept on making all the the villains like non-middle eastern or like russian or something and then finally they did do a lot of korean for a while too yeah Yeah, a lot of red korean bros (laughs) what is red dawn russia or north North south it's north korea yeah Yeah. the first red dawn is russia right the original I don't that know. movie blows. The second one blows. <laughs> Dude, I heard some Wolverines. Very- <laughs> it's like the lamest shit of all time. Like, yeah, why do they have to pick a name for themselves? It was pretty silly. If me and my friends started like a private militia, I don't think we would have a name. I think we'd just be like, "This is us." I think it. I think you might have a name. And they're single handedly. It's like Josh Peck single handedly taking down the entire North Korean. The military. guy from J- Drake and Josh. Yeah, he's in <laughs> it. Uh-uh. Yeah, isn't <laughs> Thor in it? Thor. What's his name? Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Uh, I might. He might be in Red Dawn. Yeah, he might be. 
or is it just Josh Peck? Dude, I heard some I, I learned some disturbing information this week. Yeah. I learned that Leonardo da Vinci was gay. Oh, that's not surprising. Why are you not surprised by that? Because he was a painter. So what? <laughs> Billy and Spud are painters. There's not a lot of straight dudes who are yeah, but they paint houses. No, well, that you think that there's not a lot of straight that, dudes. Do you think that paint? Da Vinci had like a side job as like painting houses? <laughs> he was just sick. And he's doing it with like the thinnest brush in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Watercoloring <laughs> houses. Yeah. Painting a fucking massive wall with just like a one millimeter brush. No, he got arrested when he was 25 years old for sodomy of a male prostitute. He, or him and four of, of his bros, yeah. four of his artist bros. It always amazes me how far back prostitution goes. But the oldest prostit, uh, the yeah. oldest, uh, the oldest profession. People, yeah. have been, people have been doing that shit. Yeah, you know, they uh, prostitution actually came around before we acknowledged um, that, like, people could even be siblings. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hose before bros. <laughs> That's what it was. That's I feel like prostitution was mathematically. Hose before bros. That's damn good. When was prostitution? Because for a while they were just raping. You said when was prostitution? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's true. Oh, for a while they were there was not really any rules around sex. It was and then someone just... was like, "You got to pay for that." Yeah, <laughs> I think it was as soon as they invented money. You think? As soon as money came around, they're like, well, "What can I spend this gold coin <laughs> yeah, on?" Probably it's got a hole burning a hole in my tunic. Yeah, <laughs> I got to fucking buy some boy ass, some yeah. twenty five year old boy asshole with this. You, I, it's crazy that dude prostitutes go back that far. Yeah, oldest yeah. profession they say. And oldest, I don't older than that. older than female prostitutes. Wasn't didn't uh, Romulus and Remus? Their mother was a wolf, but I think that a wolf was an a, allusion to a prostitute. Is that right? I believe. Now, I could Rom be wrong. Romulus and Remus. What, what is this? What are you doing? I'm trying to get, trying comfortable. To get comfortable. I like. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Do you know why I'm trying to get comfortable? I'm trying to sit up. Yeah. Because I'm drowsy. Oh, and you were absolutely right about. This. I know this God room makes you fucking tired. This goddamn room, man. Yeah, I know. I Lucky said we can't artificial. have any other room in this entire yeah, office, no matter how hard what? we ask. You want me to put my feet up? No, I'm fine. I no, have plenty of energy. Get into, get it, I drank a me. cold brew before this, which Did I don't you? usually do. Yeah, smart. So that'll come back to destroy my life. Nice cold brew. Hours. There's one kind of cold <laughs> brew that I like. Yeah, me too. Silver bullet. Brother. Silver bullet. Oh, so I was talking about this. I was saying that Sass was refusing to have drinks at your house. Which I took personally. I know. Me and Francis got bombed. We, yeah, Francis got fucking, I mean, sloppy drunk. No. We had to almost carry him up to his apartment. <laughs> Francis no, showed no. up wearing no shoes or socks, just barefoot. Carrying a plate of yeah. plate of 18 slices of chicken he and literally a came down pile with of a carrots. Whole chicken. And no good it. parts of the chicken. I've never seen one seen someone only eat chicken breasts. Those were thighs. If you're gonna buy all the chicken, mix in some breasts. Those were thighs. Some or some thighs. I like the thigh. The thigh is the best one. That's, that's the one what I, that's all it was all all thigh look at you fucking telling tales out of school you don't even know how to make me look stupid i know I'm what so else did it what else did you guys say about well, i was uh, pissed that he didn't drink with us yeah that was i fun. don't we don't i don't drink we don't all get to drink together very often no and for him to be with us and run drink together all the time <laughs> we just had a cold brew together <laughs> well the one other time that we all drank together ron and i left without even saying goodbye we're best to friends <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, that is true. And it was actually my birthday. Too. Oh, your birthday? So thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. You fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. That was so annoying. I was genuinely, I was furious when you guys did that. No, you weren't. I literally went to take a piss and I came back and you guys were all gone. No, you were taking a and piss like, for eight like, minutes. No, but like, but like, like, did you know Jordan Jensen's here? <laughs> like five minutes before then, you guys were like, you guys were like, Shane's on his way here. Uh, we're all going to hang out. We're going to go do karaoke and play pool after this. And I was like, all right, sounds good. I'm going to go take a piss. I'll be right back. Come back. Everyone's gone. We <laughs> thought those would be exactly the types of things that would make you take your time peeing long enough to let us get out of I there. was like it my was ideal out. night. It was not even my birthday, though. You were doing your hair for a hand oh, no, burner it was video. My birthday. No, yeah. Francis was. I, know, I never do those. I don't do my hair for those. I just do them. Francis, like, Francis shows up in a suit for the hand burner videos. <laughs> Dude, you wish you that's could like be. that's like Francis's Rogan, but you, but I mean, he does Rogan numbies on there, <laughs> he you, does. You wish you could be in a Hannah Burner, I do, but you I'm, did not more one of those, I'm not one of those people that stands to the side when they're recording, being like, Can I go next? Me next, yeah, I don't either, dude. I know you don't. He's uh, a fan favorite. I'm just doing my thing. <laughs> He's a fan favorite. He did 20 million views, but she kind of out, she kind of outgrew the New York comedians. She's thing. Too big, She's too big for it, She's yeah. too big. Now she does fucking. She'll be doing them with like Haley Bieber. Does I know. she? Yeah. yeah. 
She's always at like award shows doing them. Now. Wow, good for her. It's fucking awesome. I saw her this past weekend in Phoenix playing tennis. Yeah, we played tennis, and we went to a really L.A. kind of fucking food place. What pedophiles? <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was called Toka Toko Madero. You ever heard of this place? I think so. It's a gigantic, almost. I don't know, super high ceilings. It kind of reminds me of your apartment, yeah. actually. <laughs> Big tables, just two chairs. Yes. Yeah, marks Facing one another. You toilet. guys saw, I mean, Mr. Uh, and third Mrs. chair Smith's or a fourth chair would be ideal for this table. We ordered the fucking chairs, dude. They're on back order. I didn't, <laughs> this isn't the fucking intent. When you and your wife eat dinner, do you sit at opposite ends of that table? Are you guys yelling? So you have to have like a megaphone by your side. To get <laughs> we just to light a single other. candle in yeah. the middle of it. Like we're Mary Todd and Abe Lincoln. It's crazy how big that table is. <laughs> no. It's the, the she she's gonna like be like that's why I didn't want to have fucking people. <laughs> <Yeah. in." laughs> yeah, I was trying. To I could see it. you having like a tire in that. Like it, it reminds me of a museum. What the fuck like would we have a tire like for? One room with just a tire hanging from the ceiling. What are you talking you're about? Like, that's our. It's that's literally our it's a it's a one bedroom apartment. Ron, don't be foolish. It's literally don't it's, fool yourself. First of all, it's not because you have a guest bedroom. It's a guest room, but there's not even <laughs> windows in there. It's a bonus room. Throw that necklace on, Francis. Slide into that. You're gonna fucking hurt yourself for but, sure by doing man, that. He's strong. How would he hurt himself? See, now he's safe. Now he's not gonna slouch. That's the best protection <laughs> if it's a thunderstorm. This is a posture improver, and now I'm awake. Is it? Yeah, posture does. It, it changes everything, like fucking Romulus and Remus. That's the best thing that you could do if you're in a, if you're in a lightning storm. This ground yourself. Well, they say being in a car because it just hits the tires. I'm ready to fall in a rushing river. Because the tires prevent it or something? <laughs> fall and break that table. If I fell into a rushing river right now, I'd be safe. I was down in Golden, Colorado the other week. Home of Coors Brewing Company. Home of Coors. And uh, there was a, there's a river that people like to, like, it's like people like to raft and, and mm -hmm. tube on it. And um, I was with my buddy, Bo. That's the Colorado River. Yeah, I was with my friend, Bo, and we decided, to, and he wanted to take a dip in it real quick. And I was like, I'm not going to do that. But Wait, who? Do that. Which friend? Bo. And there was a dude on a, on, a, on a tube, and he, like, got caught in it and stood up, and the tube just took off. And he chased the tube for it had to have been like like until I couldn't see him anymore, which was like a f like a half a mile. How is he? Wait, he was he was running alongside, running it? along trying or to get to the swimming. tube, but he's running because it's only like a foot deep. So he's running trying to get to the tube, and the t he just couldn't get it, dude. At that point, you just got to show up with like how much do those tubes cost? Fifteen dollars? Not much. But you have to get like, down the river. The though. Tube's gone. But you have Here's to get there. Bucks, buy another tube. How are you going to get there though? You have to like walk down. If you rented the tube, how's he going to even get back to the tubing place? Walk on the street instead of having to walk on rocks <laughs> and fucking. It was bad. Hairball. Bad what are the names of your other friends? Matt and Bo, and Nate. Well, we already know Bo, so it's it's Matt. No, Matt everyone and, knows all of them. No, but you only talk about Bo and rarely about it's Matt I see and Bo. never about because I see Bo the most. I don't think you really would even put Nate in your inner circle. I text Nate more than I text anybody else. But I Nate talk is to Bo. Nate's the guy. It's like we need a fourth. No, not at, not at all. Actually, for a while, I feel like I was I was me. Well, what makes I you like need a fourth? Bo so much more than the other two. I don't like Bo more than the other two. He's the alpha. Bo is the alpha. He set the body type. He set their manner no, of speaking. No, no. I'm definitely the alpha. <laughs> I, don't I think that's run true. shit. Yeah, I don't. Think that's I promise true. you, it is. Hey, when did they visit you? When was the last time Bo visited New York? Uh, six months ago. <laughs> and how many times have you visited Bo? Yeah, you do go for Bo. A well, because Alaska, fun. Colorado. I need to go visit Bo in Alaska. And also, Colorado's fun. I like to get out of New York City. Yeah, but you visit him a lot. New York will beat you down. Do you guys split a bed when you are going places? Mm -hmm. No, he mm -hmm. He just always has an extra bed. Do you really? No. They've gone head to toe before. Well, yeah, we've done that, of course. <laughs> Everyone does that. When we were in Iceland, it was a lot of that. It was a lot of three dudes in one twin bed. Wow. Because you only pay for one hotel room. And then we also had our sleeping bags. One of someone would sit on the floor. That's unconscionable. It's on what? Unconscionable. No, oh, you never can't heard be, that one. You before. can't be going three guys in a bed if you're going on a vacation internationally. Well, they're they're all broke. But go on a, a, a more realistic vacation. Then. Not everyone lives in a fucking seven hundred million dollar apartment. Bro, I used though. to pray for times like that <laughs> yeah, to grind like sure, that. Yeah. I used to fucking dude. I used to be. I skipped so many fucking vacations, uh, like fun times out fucking uh dinners and shit dude i was yeah. poor for so long i know i was poor way longer you than you were ever poor in your life story, bro. we get it
No, I, 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 I was the even... poorest of all. I had oh, no, 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 I, no, no, no. There was a time when I would eat, I'd no. have to eat crickets and rats <laughs> out of the fucking air ducts and bang them out so they'd come into a bowl. I escaped from North Korea. I, I walked the poorest of all. Dude. I swam out of North Korea. We were literally eating rats. We would plump them up with garbage and then kill them. I escaped Lincoln Park, Chicago. I can't believe. I mean, you, you you're hanging out with guys like Bo and stuff. Wealthy Bo, yeah, rich Bo ass Bo, no big Bo. Bo. These, these guys are rich enough to be skinny. They have they're probably they're fucking poor 20, enough to be skinny. No, they're, they're twenty they're poor, in on those empty abs. These guys, <laughs> they all have abs like they just carried the crucifix for twelve miles. <laughs> yeah. Fucking ripped up guys going to their fancy gyms. Your friends, all of you guys, none of them go to fancy gyms. Having either. tons of money. We didn't. Ron and I didn't have that. We didn't have any of that. We, we, we were not... coming out of a favela. We came uh, from me Puebla, and, me Mexico. Me and Ron slept on air mattresses together in Penn State for months. Was I slept on. <laughs> <a year? laughs> yeah. I slept on an air mattress my first two years in New York, but yeah. I, I I probably I slept didn't. on an air mattress last year for one night. I slept in a fucking <laughs> tire. Yeah, Francis hangs in a tire. You like should a have seen it when Francis came over. I mean, just battle of who's richer. <laughs> I brought my own cooked food. Oh my god! I was like, I can't oh even afford Lord, to order. I'm bro. not doing well. I brought Except when we're when we're at this. when we're in that apartment, he goes by Adam. He doesn't go by Ron. <laughs> oh my Lord, Adam! <laughs> this is shocking. <laughs> I'm in full Harry Potter. Oh mode. my god! I got like my glasses on. <laughs> Your mud room is double the size of mine. <laughs> Look at this rumpus room. I'm gonna I'm gonna call my my realtor. This is a fucking unconscionable. Catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I learned the word. It was good. It was good fun to uh, mix it up with my two rich friends. Yeah, and then I lost my fucking bet, so I had we to all... walk home. I had to walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> I asked Ron if he could get me an Uber, and he was like, "Fuck no." No, you said you were taking your one wheel home. <laughs> I was like, "Damn, you're still riding your one wheel." Oh. So I just saw Sass zooming off into the night, zooming off into the wilderness. Bro, Da Vinci would walk around in a in all pink. He wore exclusively pink. No, they didn't even have pink back then. <laughs> he was a painter. What do you pink mean? Pink was not a color back then. <laughs> he didn't have the color pink? <laughs> no. He was like prissy. He was like a prissy. Uh... Pink Pink wasn't a thing until Clinton was a president. <laughs> no. Uh, until true. until they had. Roses over. have been around, dude. What are you talking it was about? Until, roses uh... are red. Dumbass. They make pink roses, doofus. Roses are red. Violets, Violets are, are blue. Azure. <laughs> no, maybe I mean I'm, I've never even seen a pink rose. That might be Adam. I thought they invented. Tax they make pink, pink roses. They might not have pussy hats. They might not have pink roses in my. They tax make bracket. pink roses. It was during tr the Trump protests when around they really the holidays. Came out Erica pink. hand delivers pink roses to Adam and and Francesco's apartment. Look at that. They're pinker than your your fingernails. Dude, you are your hand is shaking from that coffee. You just looked at your fingernail. It looked yeah. like you were. Fucking... My hands are always shaking though. <laughs> That's true. Sassy was old. Quick turn in the tire. No, not at all. Just take a turn. I'm not really a prop comic. <laughs> but it's it, you can't take long because it's temporary use say? only. You could get cheap uh, tickets at game time though. Oh, you could get Shit. cheap ass tickets from game time. What are, let's all go to a game together. Game time. Let's go to a game. Let's go to a game. Should we go to Eagle, Eagles Jets? No, he's not gonna drink. Not gonna he'll drink. drink it. We'll like tell him Shane Gillis is gonna be there. <laughs> and then he'll he'll have some drinks. There we go. We'll bait <laughs> and switch him and have Shane O'Connor show up. <laughs> I don't know how you know Shane O'Connor. Shane O'Connor's sister stayed at our apartment this past weekend. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. Shane O'Connor's a great guy. Great you guy. You don't even know Shane O'Connor, do you? Uh, sh comedy? What? Comedy? Shane or comedy? No. <laughs> Shane O'Connor. Yeah. The Philly guy. I Can know him. He's got a mustache. Nope. He, But he is capable of growing He's one. He's capable of growing one, though. He had one before. Yeah. You don't know. As when I went to Philly, me, him, and Gardini played the celebrity name game for four hours straight and then no one won and then we stopped to pee and then See we the stopped playing let's still... talk about game time <laughs> game timing is the exclusive cl exclusive ticketing partner of barstool sports created by fans for fans game time is the ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to create to score last minute deals on tickets to sports concerts and shows and they guarantee the lowest price here it is. Here's my game time app. Pops it up right there. Ooh, Philadelphia Phillies made the playoffs. You can go to a Phillies Surprising. game tonight for $19. Look at that. Two clicks, buy with Apple Pay, and now I just bought Phillies tickets. It literally was that simple. How many? That was like was literally 15 tickets. seconds. That was. It's the simplest ticket buying experience that you can get. The best app, the best deals, 
playoff football or playoff baseball, football, concerts, comedy shows, hockey, all that shit. And it, they have the biggest last minute price drops that can be found on seats you thought you could never buy. They'll even credit you 110% of the seat price if you can find a better deal elsewhere. Francis, now that you're on the show, you uh, will have access to our sweet, sweet game time deals. Are you going to, is there any events that you have your eyes on? I am a huge fan of game time. I like their interface. I like the way that they show you what the look, what the seats. But what events are you looking forward to that are coming up? Anything uh, that you would like to go to that we could go as like a, a another team building exercise? Well, I was going to say we should go maybe to a basketball game. Mm. That would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? Madison Square. Or no, in Brooklyn, Barclays. Oh. That would be nice. Barclays. That would be really nice. The Download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email and redeem code VOIDAD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Little Damon earn, learns to earn. We got Damon John's book in here. Damon Lillard. Uh, I think different day that we're thinking of you're thinking of Damien and we're I'm talking about a Damond. Uh, Damon in the Damon. office. Draymond Green. <laughs> this man knows ball. Was Don't, Pat Bev in the office yesterday? Yeah. And Why he's looking he for you. By? He's looking for you. You come into the office for less time than you're on air. That's not true. I come here and I, I come here a little late and then I stay late. I self-reported to Gaz that I was going to be late for the show because I was worried that he was going to crack down on me. <laughs> yeah, you should have. It's a good idea. I said, hand up, Gazzo. I'm going to be a little late. <coughs> Just yeah. take it out of my portion of the table next time we go to 11. <laughs> <laughs> Gaz it's is always back. smart. He's checking everybody's punch clock. He's checking how much time people spend in HQ. Gaz, I DM'd Gaz this weekend, and I said, uh, we live right next to each other. And he said, let's get a coffee sometime. Smart. Smart to, God, try, to no. try to get him close <laughs> with him. I, I, I thought it was going to be like, oh, that's funny. See you around town. And he's like, yeah, let's get a coffee sometime. Let's get it. Or I said, like, let's get a latte. <laughs> I think that's exactly what he said was let's get a latte sometime. Good. You should do that. You should take him up on that. Dude, me and Gaz getting a latte would be horrifying. You're also shocked that he has the capability of joking. Yeah, I know. I know he was kidding. You think that nobody that's older than you can joke? Oh, because they can't. <laughs> You think only young little boys can joke? You think you guys are the only ones that can crack a fucking joke? Here's a question, Ron, that you missed, and I actually want your opinion on it. All right, what brings a student body? Oh, we're going back to this one. Closer this one together. Was pretty dark. Um, a, a shooting. Yes. Uh, or well, that's one option: a school shooting, right? Or a but, sex scandal? Or no, a teacher sex scandal? A situation where um, that's how the conversation a student, started. A student uh, dresses up as a chicken. <laughs> For and a pep rally, into and then the entire football team and a lot of the student body piles on him and beats him up and it, hurts him. Is the kid beloved? That goes. He's well liked. He was popular. Yeah. The chicken kid. Well, he wasn't popular enough. No, I think that I, I don't. I think he was. I think that was everyone was rushing and so excited about. Are your how, socks too small? Why is the heel of your sock there? Uh, there we go. Okay, it's stretching. They are. No, they're not. They're not because no, when he pulls them to where they're supposed to be, it's a flat sock. No, they're they're good. They're good. Those are terrible fitting socks. <laughs> they're probably expensive. What do your socks look like? These? These are wool. <laughs> these are really nice. Yeah, these are really nice socks. I think that if uh, so, so you're saying that the who who would no keep the feet up, keep the feet. This up. actually I don't happened. Make yourself self conscious. <laughs> Should be sloppy socks. That's like you're you look fucking homeless right now. With that fucking ragtag sweater on and the fucking poorly fitting socks. <laughs> Don't say that about him. He's affluent. Are you looking at me? What's your business? This is Polo. <laughs> you got any? If you're about to make a fucking diss on my, my fit, this is Polo. And oh, shirt below this, also Polo. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Where did I get this jacket? Yeah. West Virginia, Macy's. You guys okay over there? <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> They're roughhousing. <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> we need Quit a lifeguard over there. We need a lifeguard in here. No horseplay <laughs> while we're podcasting. You're gonna lose it again. You're gonna wheel. You're so close. I should be all set. Thank you, <laughs> that one wheel is really close. Francis, my my answer is that it's definitely nothing is is better than a school shooting. No, it's not true. <laughs> he disagreed. He thinks I, it's bad because it divides. I don't think it divides. I think it puts everyone into fucking like no, half the kids divides. end up themselves. Who's after. on the school shooter side? I'm I'm not <laughs> saying there are, but there's probably people who are like should have been me. Should have stopped them. I should have done the shooting. Yeah, there are probably people pointing fingers like, well, you were a dick to that guy. No, it's good for everything. That's like great for the football team. 
Well, yeah, the, the football season goes that, ten and zero after that. Yeah, the Virginia Tech shooting, the they covered every spread. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> That is insane. <laughs> no, they couldn't stop covering. <laughs> it was like a sure bet. <laughs> and it's like Vegas doesn't want to give them, you know what no. I mean? They want to give them winnable odds. They want Vegas to stimulate locked, the economy. Vegas locked them before they even started. <laughs> That's why the Vegas shooting happened. Oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> you have a sick mind. I'm just fucking kidding. I thought we were going blue. I thought this was a, the late night show. <laughs> it is. It is. We like to get dark. Yeah, I thought this we was. We like to get real sick and twisted. Francis's on cellar spots times. Yeah. Oh. 1 30 a.m yeah i'm excited about that though. you're on the net you're doing the nasty show am i <laughs> probably um isn't that tuesday i don't know i believe tuesday is the nasty show that's not late though yeah it is mine is what's late the nasty tuesday. show yeah. is there actually one yeah isn't that big j show i don't know that's i the feel like title all of it a lot of comments i think it's already. called the nasty show. it's just like do nasty material do your nastiest give them your worst <laughs> <laughs> I had a fucking, I had a group of, I had two old people yesterday come up to me when I was walking to uh, the gym and they said, do you know which way the comedy cellar is? And I said, I don't. Let me call my friend Francis though. He might know where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, I can give you directions to the stand. Great shows over there too. They put up, they do some great shows over there. Good work. And then I said, what, who are you guys seeing at the comedy cellar? And they didn't reply. And I was like, oh, fuck my life. Is this real? This actually happened. Because there was no... It, he, he told it like he was insulting you, but there was no like uh, <laughs> discernible insult. Like, yeah, ask my friend Francis. No, I wasn't insulting. <laughs> but the way, like, the timbre of that story was that you're like, yeah, my, ask my fucking idiot friend Francis. But it was no, really it just a nice feel story. bad about myself, though. Why? Because I, I had my show last night, and it was empty. And uh, Was it? It was. I mean, it was a good show. It was a fun show, but it was not... There was not a lot of people there. But it's, I mean, it's a free show. It's a bar show. So what can you expect? Yeah. Maybe start but, promoting um, it. Maybe do a little promo for it. I did promote it, but Colin was out of town too. So if you need a co-host. So know. I had to host it. Fucking murdered, of course. You want me to get up there, bro? Surprising. Best host in New York City. <sighs> is that Not true? really something that you want. No, no I think Cypher Sounds. Cypher Sounds is the best host. Very in famous City. in New York. Yeah. James Madden's good. James Madden's James good. Madden's Oscar's great. great. Oscar's good. Cypher Sounds really has that deep... Uh, rolodex though he could call up anybody oh yeah cypher sounds knows everybody hip-hop through the world i like Seth a lot sass was telling me he's not a huge fan of i know I, that's why i'm bringing it up because he's always talking shit on big Sife. i don't <laughs> crazy to say i don't know why i've literally you... never even seen you talk to Sife. me and him talk all the time i t I, I have said way more words to him that's in my life than to him Sife? me and him scootered from the vulcan to the creek in the cave <laughs> <laughs> and he was flying I do that. I scooter down there. I always get the. You definitely the weren't with Cypher. Pass, the bird pass, but I. We flew around town. That must have been a sight to see. Me and Cypher sounds and Cypher buzzing sounds around. <laughs> Welcome to the creek of the cave. We That's the Austin love story. It's also a long way. That's an yeah, Austin. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's like a 20 minute, 20 minute scooter. Yeah. We were you flying. You guys were in formation with yeah, Brian Wright Band. They offered us a ride. <laughs> flying the Moon me. Tower people were like, do you guys need a ride? And we were like, no, we'll scooter. Yeah, it's fun to see. Were you guys, there. did you guys force conversation? Like, he's upwind of you and you're like shouting. No, I was up laughing the entire time. <laughs> I was probably also hammered because the first time I went to Moon Tower, I drank. Yikes, a lot. bro. That's not cool, man. Now, DUI. No, yeah. They're S banning those S things in a lot of places. Yeah, because yeah, people are Providence, dying. they got banned early. Yeah, quick. <laughs> people are getting. Because they were just peeling someone off a windshield <laughs> once a week. <laughs> It was crazy. See, this is in LA. They turn off once you hit a certain like borough, so you can go and like. Oh yeah, and then you're just lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That happened when I was in Tampa, like for not not last weekend, but it happened a while ago. Yeah. And you just have to do the walk. You gotta walk them back <laughs> yeah. and try and find what the zone is that. that they can ride again. They they banned segways in Miami because someone ran over the mayor's niece. Ooh. Someone ran over the That'll mayor's, it. but it didn't Ooh. kill her. Yeah. It just like do, 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 like over someone ran over the mayor's niece on the Segway on a Segway or she was on a Segway. No, no, she was so on a Segway. Someone, a Damn. Segway rider ran over the mayor's niece in Miami. I feel like getting hit by something like that. With a sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like getting it's hit. I get, feel like getting hit by. I'd rather get hit by a car than get hit by like a Segway or someone one of those like Uber Eats bikers. It would probably hurt more to get hit, like like get like impaled by a fucking 
Or like a, a guy, like a UPS guy with a push cart full of boxes or some shit. Like if you're on a bike, I'd rather get hit by a car than one of those yeah, push cart guys. Like that's fucking your day up. Yeah. You're going to get mangled. Yeah. But I mean, all, I've said it before, but after that, after that happens, you just, there's no other option besides just you just got to brawl with the dude that you hit. No. You way. get up and everyone's swinging. It's going to be like the chicken situation. The jackedest guys in New York are delivery guys, like the FedEx. It doesn't matter. The adrenaline will be through. You get up, you just start just throwing random objects at them. It's a handsome, jacked black fuck guy. Fuck you! Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I did you, how did you not see me? It's like a skinny, pot belly biker. Chip, throwing your laptop at him from out of your backpack. It's always like an out of shape, neck bearded dude on a bike. And oh, then yeah. like the most jacked UPS guy that you've ever yeah. seen. The most jacked FedEx. I mean, I've seen guy a collision. I've beard. seen bike on bike collision. I saw York, a collision, and it is bad. I saw one, and they Did get you? up and they instantly are up in each other's faces. Yes, I saw one. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. I was talking to my best friend. No, no I Fran could tell. That's why. I no, kept Francis saying saw it. one. I don't yeah. think you're hearing this. I saw. Saw. I saw. I got well, on. It's the... tough because you're like behind me. Yeah, that doesn't sitting in the middle <laughs> yeah, suck. Yeah, <laughs> you, you could have taken forward? this offset. You could have made me come into the middle when I got here. You don't want the blue chair though. No, don't want the blue chair. The brown chair brings out your beautiful poop brown eyes. I know. <laughs> Are we live until 100k? Yeah, this is a powerful chair. Yeah, this is a throne. I um. So you saw one, Francis? I saw one. So I was taking. <laughs> you know, I can always win because I can always start touching you. And you hate that so much. He'll crawl inside his own body like a hermit crab. Yeah. You think you're winning right now, but uh I'm as... winning what? What am I winning? You're you keep <laughs> being mean to me. I'm not being mean to you. <laughs> you're being intentionally nasty. Hell no. You are preparing for your nasty show tonight Tell with me Francis. I'm not friends yeah. with Cypher Sounds. I'm better when are you gonna with Cypher Sounds than you are. You told me you didn't like it. You're like, <laughs> I don't you really gonna... get it. I don't understand why people that's crazy. I would <laughs> that's never your say that. Word. You said I, I love... should be open. Cypher's one of the nicest guys I've ever met in comedy. I do like I like him a lot. Why would uh when are you gonna wreck me? seller i'm not once you get on better <laughs> terms with cypher sounds because he's there all the time he has that show he has, has that he, uh who's he, he has that show with the other bro with the yeah, yeah incredible have you uh how do you think anyone's ever done that you think anyone's ever gotten past the seller and like the next week they try wrecking one of their friends it probably kills both people's careers yeah 100 like Instantly? that yeah <laughs> uh i saw these two guys i was on the manhattan bridge i was biking over he doesn't it. like to make jokes about the seller you don't do that. <laughs> Not about gnome. Sometimes I wonder if I'm talking yet. <laughs> <laughs> Have I begun or is that still in my head? Because Sash sure isn't hearing it. This show, this show might have the like the the span of like bastard radio. Just four good episodes, and then we're done forever. That's all we need. <laughs> Just enough to sell. All right, continue. You were biking across the. I've Queens lost Bridge. faith in my own story. <laughs> the story is I was taking a city bike over the Manhattan Bridge. Okay. And as I was getting on, there was an ambulance parked at the base of the bridge. And I thought, oh, God. And then I went up, and there were two EMTs walking up the bike path. And they had huge bags. And I thought, oh, boy. Oh, has someone? I thought someone had tried to jump or was trying to jump yeah. off. And there could have been. Then I got to the middle of the bridge. You know, it's a big, long bridge, big span. Yeah, about seven and minutes across the bike. Two motorized bike, food delivery, kind of Grubhub, seamless type guys had clearly gotten into a head on collision. Yeah. Because there were bagels and lo mein oh, God. everywhere. And then there's some dude in his apartment like me messaging the guy being like, why aren't you moving? Yeah. Where the fuck are you? Or they were jousting for tips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that could have been it. Yeah. And one of them had um, his face like here had swollen out so far. He had a humongous, I don't know what you'd call it, wound. He was very wounded. There was blood pouring out of his mouth. God and, damn! And they were just standing there waiting. Ugh. It was really bad. I felt really bad. That's horrifying. That is hilarious, though, to see all the food on the ground. Yeah, you did. I thought about. Yeah, there was a lot of food. Like whose day was ruined more? The guy whose face was out to here. The dude that's in his apartment waiting for the food. One hundred percent. Yeah, just like 
tying his shoes, being like, I guess I got to go fucking buy food somewhere now. The same EMTs, like on the phone with Uber Eats support. <laughs> right. That's the person who really had the worst yeah, day yeah. is the poor support lady in oh, India. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who, uh, Need my refund to... now. Explain the outsourced call center lady who has no idea what the fuck Uber Eats is. <laughs> Just trying to make it right. Or at like an automated, but those are probably all chat GPT at this point, like the automated call center return. I've found out a way to break through to get a person pretty quick and you just got to throw them a question that they can't solve with like the one answer response what's an example like if they're, they're like what do you need help with and then you say something and they're like i need help with this and it's not one of the options that they list and then they're like all right we'll connect you with an agent works every time oh that's nice that's cool. well, or else you end cool. up just getting in a fucking clicking the same thing as over and over again it never works the can't system anywhere the yeah. system fails it's too limited that's just not right that shit's yeah. fucking bullshit. Because well, the options they give you, they're like, what What do you need help with today? And you're like, past order. And they're like, okay. Uh, and they give you like options. And they're all like, it's some of them are like, order was wrong. And then there'll be one that's like, my Uber Eats man assaulted me. Like, it's always like weird. There's like weird <laughs> options. There is like a 911 option on yeah, Uber Eats. Yeah. Like, is everything okay? Oh, I get that message all the time. Or like you they get call. it on Uber, they're like, hey, you're showing up uh, off your the, the path yeah. that you're supposed to be on. Is everything okay? Yeah. Imagine how many kidnappings had to go down for oh, them yeah, to have a to lot. install that feature. Yeah, you get a call automatically now, and it's like where it's like you haven't moved in a while. I have a question. Are you safe? If you're in a line at an airport, a security line, and uh, you see that they're opening up another belt, yes, and you angle for that, and then they say we're opening up another line, and you go, but the person that was in front of you in the original line then comes to. And then that person says, when you get to the new belt, hey, I was in front of you. Oh, hell no. You, Has that oh, happened to you? It just happened to me. Oh, God. I no. was in front of you? God, I would body slam yeah. that guy. <laughs> it was a woman. I don't, yeah. Talk. I was in front of care. you? She she was in front of me. Was in she the hot? Origi no. Okay. Old. Yeah, beat her up. <laughs> no. She was in front of me in the original line. I saw that the new line was opening. I went to it, and then she came to. That's crazy. And asked to go back in front of me. That's crazy. No, you can't do that. When you when you get out of that line, it's it's no rules. I had a similar a situation. Line. It was the bins. You know how you go to the four bins. Everybody goes to a bin when they get there, and uh, a guy went to the first bin. He was there with his wife. And the, there was a one open, waited a second, waited another second. The wife didn't go to the other bin, so I went to the other bin. And then I got through, and I was taking everything out of my bin, and the wife was to the husband, and she was like, oh, look, he doesn't even put his bin away either. Like, she oh, was pissed uh, off about the other thing. Oh. And I was like, I was going to do it. Oh, <laughs> I had like, it like that about you? About me right in front of me pissed off that i had got, gone to like the and maybe i should have waited but i've thought about it every day since then yeah. that was five years ago we were at the airport that one was that was it me and you when we were there when that girl that like child i was like the mental yeah, breakdown I think you someone else. <laughs> and unfortunately she, it was me and, and she and like she walked through with a, her belt on she was like causing a scene in like the the pre through the security line yeah like bitching at her mom and then she like went through with her belt on and the tsa guy was like you gotta take your belt off and she goes I'm literally about to lose my mind. <laughs> and she's like 12 years old. With blue and the hair. parents are like, it's okay. We're going to be okay. We just got to get through this. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? But she was like, unfortunately, I think she was a card carrying autist. Not like how comedians call themselves autistic. Like she oh, was, she thinks she was full on autistic? I think she had I didn't the, get that impression at all. You did not? No. Oh. I feel like if you're autistic, like you studied the rules of TSA before. <laughs> she was a pink hat autist. Yeah, it, it was. That's what it was. She did have like pink or blue hair. I think that there's different flavors of it, though. <laughs> She's an autistic actor, <laughs> like a crisis actor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. That pissed me off a lot. Yeah, some people. Uh... Well, you can retroactively claim it. There was a woman a couple years ago who was in the – she had like a meltdown in a store, and she was like, don't film me, like yelling yeah. at a black woman who was like filming her, and it was like the height of the 2021 stuff that was going on. And then just this year, she's countersuing and being like, this woman has a mental issue, and she has anxiety, so you should be able to like – it's not her fault because she has this mental stuff going on and anxiety. Yeah, that's crazy. That anxiety doesn't, doesn't, doesn't count. Anxiety doesn't count. It doesn't count as anything. Even the fact that they prescribe medicine for it is that an absolute yeah. joke. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, it should just be available. It should anxiety, be over the counter. I feel like if you have anxiety too, that you you would react the opposite way to that. But panic attacks are actually debilitating. Yeah. What it, kind of panic attacks? Are, am I getting a crazy echo? Go ahead. Ones where people what pass out. Really? Or lose me. consciousness. Yeah, that happens to me. You pass out? No, but I hyperventilate. You pass out and fucking flyer for your show on the corner when you fucking <laughs> bark on the weekends. <laughs> Bastard. You passed out from fucking No, but I've had to like hyperventilate I've hyperventilated. Really? Then, so like, when we asked you down. and I said people pass out from them and you said, Yeah, that happens to me. And then But I get you, to a point said, where we said, Have you ever passed out? And then you said no. So why would you have said yes in the first place? Well, I meant I meant I have like de- I've had like debilitating panic attacks. The lie was easier than the truth. I just, said, this is an inconvenient truth. This is what Al Gore told us about. <laughs> I mean, have you ever had a panic attack like that? No, I haven't. Okay. No, problem but I'm not claiming I'm not claiming them the way I know, you but were. I was saying I have had that happen to me. Many but times. you haven't passed out. I mean, I've come close. I've been able to not walk or move. Yeah, and I feel like you're, you're it's like you're answering a different question. I don't know. I guess no. I have not passed out. I think I would have rather passed out in almost every single scenario. What were you doing? Driving a car. That's – why would you rather have passed out while driving a car? I would have rather pulled over and passed out. <laughs> <laughs> a controlled pass out. Well, it was – I mean, I, it was not like I wasn't driving the car safely. Oh, because you were hyperventilating? Yes. I was trying to get home because I thought I was going to die before I got home. Do you think it's a a disability? Uh, If you have panic disorder, yeah, probably. So you think you could put it on a college essay and get into a college and be like, I panic? Um, No. I think you could, honestly. I think if you framed it right. If it's impacted your life massively. Did you do that? No. What was your sob story getting into college? I didn't have one. That's why I didn't get into any schools. (laughs) Yeah. You got into Duquesne. Nope. Duquesne. De, De Vry. DePaul. That's it. DePaul or DePaul? You DePaul. know there's a DePaul? I know DePaul. It's in Indiana, right? Yeah, which is right by Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So fucking uh, Leonardo da Vinci and fucking Michelangelo both get hired for a paint off and they never finished it. Because they both died? No, they just like didn't want to be the one to finish it. But Da Vinci looked over and was like, look at fucking Michelangelo's little fucking men that he painted. They look like walnuts, all over muscular. Meanwhile, Da Vinci was so fucking real. Dude, did you know that Da Vinci on the Mona Lisa, the eyebrows, there's so many layers. They were the most realistic eyebrows ever. And now they're completely gone because the paint has worn away over the years. How is the paint worn away? Right? Isn't it like in like a fucking? It used to be like a way better painting, and now it's just like yeah. molt like the top levels. He never finished the Mona Lisa. He worked on it his whole life. Damn, that's pretty cool. Wow. What else about the, the Mona Lisa? Is hilarious. Have you ever seen the Mona Lisa? Yeah, of course I have. And it's like it's like this small, and it's have you so ever been far there? Away. Yeah, been to the Louvre. You went to Paris? Yeah. <laughs> and it's so far away because there's a crowd. Yeah, it's like looking. It's like if you were looking at a sheet of paper that's like a hundred feet away. It, it it's can't be the bad. it can't it's be the best the it can't be the best painting crazy. though. No, there's paintings in there that are way better. It can't be. I it's it's got to just be the fanfare around it. Yeah, it's just the most famous. It's probably the most famous painting ever. Right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's number one. But it's not even. Is it even the real Mona Lisa that you're seeing? Sometimes, you just have no idea. You never know. They that. don't tell you if they've brought out the reproduction. What's number two? Maybe the Passion of the Christ, also Da Vinci. Or the, oh, I'm sorry, The Last Supper. Last Supper is a good The Last Supper is a banger. Or uh, Starry Night. Night. Starry Night. Starry Night's, Starry Night's a good one. pretty good. The Scream. The Screaming one is great. I like that one. Big fan of that one. Munch. Munch. It yeah, he's the, people don't Munch. know that he's the one that did The Scream. Yeah. Munch did? Yeah. I've always loved Munch. What else? Uh, uh, the Surratt painting of the park. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's great. Point, uh, point maybe is there a Monet lily, water lilies? Uh, the the Japanese footbridge. Yeah. Maybe Did you guys see those? that video of the of the dude going around asking all those like girls what with what their favorite architect was or some shit? Are they asking what was the architect's name? Do you remember? Frank Lloyd Wright. Yeah. No. Uh, Gary or Gary. Getty. Yeah. Whatever it is. What's his name? No, it's not Getty. What am I saying? No, Getty. There's. The, I mean, there's G-E-H-R-Y. a Getty. He's still alive. Oh, Gary. 
or something. I, oh, I think G- it was Gary. G E H R I, yeah. Right? G- I don't remember. G-H-R-I. And what were they dunking on? It was just another video because of some they didn't dude know being it. Like, look how dumb women are. <laughs> and everyone's like, what are you talking about now? Can you is. solve this for pie? Yeah. <laughs> it's just him going around being like, do you know who? Or he'd be like, do you like architecture? That was the big one. He'd be like, do you like art? It would be like, it would be like if you went up to someone and you were like, do you like rock and roll? And then you said some fucking band that had one song 80 years ago. And then you were like, well, I guess you don't really like rock and roll. <laughs> the guy's like, do you like architecture? And they're like, I guess. Like, who is like, there's not that many people who are like, yeah, oh, yeah, I actually fucking love architecture. That's a passion of mine. And then, and then he lists off this, I guess, famous architect. And they're all, and he's like, do you know who that is? And they're like, no. <laughs> do people like, love it in the comments or are the people like, you're fucking an idiot? The comments were all just like, this is so funny. <laughs> These dumb girls. Yeah. Did you see the video of the girl who spiked the guy's piano, the street performer? Oh. No. And then had to apologize for it. And then she stole his money. <laughs> Damn. She, she pushed it. She went to go like push the keys and just the whole thing collapsed onto the ground and, while he was playing. And then she took money out of his hat that was on the ground. Yeah, I think that's not proper etiquette to steal a someone a street performer's no, money. That's bad. For I him. think that that's probably bad etiquette on their part. But who am I to say? Anytime there's kids, there, there's like young like Nicaraguan kids out front of the Barcelona office doing TikToks now. Yeah, it's everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's all over the place. I saw it money. happening yesterday. Yeah, Swiss cheese border. <laughs> <laughs> so we got. They came up in the caravan. Yeah. They probably bust them up here. They probably just send them all to outside of. Uh... Probably flew here on Delta. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even have to. What's the lid say, brother? Make America hard again. That's got to be an old row piece. <laughs> Has to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got to sell it, though. If we're if we're still broadcasting on old row, we got to make sure that the people are seeing what we're putting out there. Make America hard again. Like America ever stopped getting hard and soft. I swear to God, dude, I get targeted ads for uh for blue chew and it's insulting to me. Is that a blue chew hat? I don't think it is, but it's just like. First off, I get all I always no. get targeted ads for those mints. What kind of mints? Are it's you like targeting? Viagra Tours. mint No, And they're like, and they're Tic-tac, like, tic tacs. Yeah, no, they're like a Viagra. And it's like this generation can't get hard anymore yeah that's what i mean like Like, what are they talking about change that and then like it's a video of them both like taking a mint and then like (laughs) fucking two dudes da vinci and his boy da vinci and michelangelo yeah Yeah, i guess it would be two dudes they said michelangelo was real stinky really hard pussy (laughs) (laughs) like a can't like a rock wall yeah like a crevasse fuck right now it looks like when they use the pussy pump and they take it off (laughs) What the hell is a pussy pump? Never seen that? No. Oh, man. I am not familiar with the pussy pump. Put it on and it suctions it. And and then it looks like... Oh! It sounds like a monster. Looks just like big, big old lips. Is it like a... Is it to make it uh, And you got And when you pull it off, it goes... Is it like a rejuvenation (laughs) type thing? It's like the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. No, I know. I don't think it does anything good. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's like stepping out of a mud flat. (laughs) That yeah. has to have stemmed yeah, from, the, from the Kylie Jenner yeah. lip challenge. And someone that's was good. like, I think I could do this with my pussy. No, oh, a pussy uh, pump. You think yeah. anyone's ever gotten lip fillers in their pussy? Someone's definitely tried it. <laughs> I think that they do different. Uh, I think that's the thing. Vajuvenation. I yeah. want my vagina to look like it's sucking your dick. Ew, gross. That's that, what you said. I know. And it was said. gross when I said it, too. Yeah. <laughs> People do vajuvenation. They vaj- there's, a reju- there's a rejuvenation place around here, around the, around the block. I'd like to do uh, just says vaginal reju- rejuvenation. I know a couple of vages that I would have restructured. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Along like an architect. Line. No, I mean not shaming. I'm you just saying I, I think of I could think of a few that. Whew. Frank Lloyd Wright gets his hands on those things. Let's just say they were a little dilapidated. Oh, Salvador Mundi, uh, that dude, sounds be, nasty. You know what I've been noticing? Dilapidated. <laughs> that is disgusting. Uh, like a, a lean to, like a fucking battered <laughs> fucking slum. The uh, eaves had caved in. Oh. <laughs> you know what I've been noticing about my own anatomy? My my ball sack has been tightening. Really? Mine's hanging lower than ever. Mine has been. 
Mine's been mysteriously <laughs> tightening. Mine swings. You're 22. Yeah, mine's always. How swung is low. it so bad already? It's always swung low. That's mine what... is so much longer than my penis. That's that... what. No, that's what mine is too. And I talked about this on the yak a while ago. I said that I piss on my balls on accident all the time, and everyone was like, "How small is your dick, or how big are your balls?" And I don't think my dick is like very small. I think it's average, and I think my balls are very long. Yeah, that's going to get worse. You're going to need some I know. I've got like the bad that... grandpa balls. What do you wear for underpants? You wear boxers. Boxer. He bo- boxers. Yeah, he's never worn a boxer brief. I'm never wearing boxer Which briefs. is so crazy because never it makes your dick and balls briefs. look that much more appetizing. I don't care. Dude, they're so goddamn uncomfortable. No, they're not. You're just wearing the wrong so no, Once you I, switch, you, no, you'll dude, realize you were being an idiot the whole time. I, I hate them. Just, like, I wear them, and it ruins my day. Well, some of them are. Some <laughs> I remember one time I was, walking, I was walking somewhere with Owen and Dukes, and I literally was like, do you guys ever wear a pair of underwear, and it just destroys your whole day? Like, it's like it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, It's tight everywhere. I always feel like I have a wedgie. No, that should be comfortable. It's like sleeping under a weighted blanket. It should probably cure your anxiety having – underwear that holds your balls tight enough to your body no i don't want that i want to swing low no that's probably why your anxiety is fucking going r- running amok because you have nothing not running amok yes it is you just said you have panic attacks we have to pull over the car it was like four years ago that's brave that's still now for you no now i'm on zoloft i'm numb <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one-to-one correlation between anxiety and the pendulum of your balls oh yeah exactly mm-hmm. no dude my sack has been somehow fucking that's probably bad that's dude. cool no it's that cool. Is cool it's super you don't cool want a tight sack. Like that. That no it's like cool no it's not it's, at all. For you. it's like a pleasant you. surprise like yeah. I've, I've like noticed it like uh, twice recently where i'm like oh my god yeah <laughs> boys <laughs> what are you doing so close it's to home? Taking all those cold showers that's cool that might be it honestly tight enough when you're on a cold that shower. might be it honestly yeah. i think that there yeah. there's some some kind of truth to that my balls when i'm in a cold shower it goes from like i could like grab the skin and put it down like i touch my toes with the skin <laughs> to then it being like the like the consistency of like a tennis ball or like, like you could ball. wrap like your youth your young up yeah, in there like yeah. a, a, a daddy uh kangaroo yeah. or something like that nice. like a bat so like a bat's wing you could just like <laughs> wrap it fully around yourself like a sarong <laughs> like a space blanket after a marathon yeah. <laughs> rescue a from a house gold. fire yeah, like a refugee <laughs> in a fucking one of those tinfoil blankets yeah. gross bro you never know how your balls are sitting at any given moment though like i really don't know I don't know what looking at them. It. I don't. Yeah, is it warmth? Is it like? Uh, but I like having them because I can I can check for testicular cancer very easily when, when they're, they're long. Loose. Yeah, when they're when they're loose. When they're loose. Yeah, you do have to be checking, fellas. Stay on top of that. Stay on top. Do you know how to check for that? Yeah, you just check and see if there's like a third ball. <laughs> You check you check for lumps, but then it's like it's very Typically, confusing. There's a third ball because the wiring, the USB cord that like connects your there ball sack. In it. There's like vast deference. Yeah, the vast deference has yeah, like there's little bumps in there. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It's not like just a uh, clean plug like an Apple product yeah. or anything. There's yeah. like a yeah. a bubble to it. Steve mm-hmm. Jobs would have designed it a little bit better than God did yeah. because he's considering the art and the function of it. Right. That's what a true artist does. That's what Da Vinci would have did. Mm. Finch's genius. Wow. It worked like a lion, are not you guys like a cow. Get, are you guys going to get the new iPhone? I don't know. I, I found mean, out. I, Sass was just telling me new I shit think about the shutting iPhone. down this one. Yeah, mine is going to My maximum going to capacity on the iPhone. This is the iPhone 14 Pro, I believe. And it randomly, like, when the right when the iPhone 15 started dropping, I, there was a new update for this iPhone. And I updated. And my phone started getting really hot. Like, out of nowhere. Like, all the time. It would just be, like, oh, very hot. And then I looked it up and everyone was like, my maximum capacity for this iPhone has dropped like a ton. And I looked at my, my drop, my maximum capacity dropped 4% in the last week. Damn, dude. So they're shutting this bitch down. I wonder what it's at right now. It's still, now it's still at 96. We got to get a, a class action lawsuit against them. That is yeah. specifically against I mean, the this law. phone is like eight months old. Shouldn't it be dropping. That should we, I mean, that, that shouldn't even be an availability that the battery gets less. No. Whoever is mining the batteries in whatever type of West African country or whatever that the Chinese have taken over, they need to be finding better minerals. Exactly. Preach. Dude, that's so funny you mentioned that. When, um, what is it? Was it Congo? Maybe. Congo, where they have a ton of the cobalt that they use to create the batteries for electric vehicles. Yeah. When that area became a hotbed, and it may not be Congo, but I don't think it is Congo. It's somewhere else. 
But when that became, I, I thought I wanted, I had this, just this idea that I would m- go there and meet the right people and network and become this titan of cobalt mining in Congo. You probably could. And it's I, probably pretty tough. And then I read that the Chinese had already been there for like two years. Yeah, yeah the Chinese are doing like, oh, everything they can to get their hands on those whatever type types of minerals are right. bubbling around there. But you could be like, uh, you ever hear about the dude Barbie in the cartel? There was like no. this white American blue eyed guy that like took over the cartel on the strength of being just like a ruthless white. I think that you could go down there and be a ruthless white. I think that you could just go down there and be like, hey, you guys are Chinese. You guys are African. I went. I played lacrosse. I like that. I, I mean, I like that for me. Um, I want to. I would be the Gus. Fr- I would Gus Fring. I'm yeah. a back. Huh? Because one of you guys definitely took it. What? My fate. What are you talking about? You stole it. I that put it. Thing? I put it on. I put it here, and one of you guys took it. I didn't take it. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You're smiling right now. I told. I know you took it. I feel like because I'm. I'm smiling because you're doing. A, I feel like you're doing a bit yeah, or you're something. Terrible at doing this. I know you have it. I don't have it. Just Find it. it. Just Where? give it to me. Look. I don't have it. I, I, I know you said you don't have it, but I know you do because it's not on me. I mean, I didn't just misplace it. They said that William Randolph Hearst was really big into pranks, and that was one no, of the reasons. That... Dude, he didn't misplace this. I didn't <laughs> misplace it. That being, if you if you want to look for the people that's going to be great in an industry, the, the most uh, out-of-the-box minds, you want to look for pranksters. So you better hope one of us has it because that's that shows good things for the podcast in that's the long run. Big for the pod, big for the cobalt mining. Industry. Steve Jobs was a prankster, they said. Pranked it. Yeah, I heard he was a bad guy. Steve pranks. Okay, when he like wouldn't pay child support. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Whatever. The kid probably is a literal billionaire right now. Yeah, now. So what? He was sleeping on fucking couches for the first 10 years of yeah, his he life. Yeah, he was on an air mattress the first two yeah. years. I think now he actually has... was. Have you ever seen the movie? No, I think the wife and him were like sleep. Were like the Ashton Kutcher movie. On, yeah, they were like no, that's on not the good one. The other one is spe- Michael Fassbender. One is yeah, I've spectacular, seen both. brother. That one's really good. Yeah, they're both good. That's um, what's his name? Who wrote that? The uh, Ashton Kutcher one has what? like that weird Sorkin. Yeah. Sorkin, yes. Ashton Kutcher one has that weird breakout scene in the middle where him and Mila Kunis are like, Danny Masterson didn't rape anyone. Oh, <laughs> they just stopped the movie right in the middle of it. I hate like, when they uh, do that. that like, in, really... like in fucking, uh, what is <laughs> that? Really what is the stock market the... movie? Oh, uh, when they have uh, Big Short. Robbie Short. Expl- yeah, the Big, Big Short. Short. When they have Margot Robbie explain things. They just yeah, have yeah, Ashton yeah. Kutcher explaining yeah. why Danny Masterson's <laughs> actually a good guy. <laughs> it's no, pretty he... confusing here. So we have Mila Kunis <laughs> sipping champagne in a bathtub to describe this for you. Why, yeah. Danny he Masterson. didn't rape anybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a great guy. Like, oh, okay. Now I understand. <laughs> now that Hollywood has told me it in ways that I can understand. <laughs> now that my now most famous person. <laughs> yeah. The most influential person told me how to think, so now I'll think that way. So it fell on the floor between you and you no. accused everyone of stealing it? He put it there. I certainly did not. I'm not a fool. It's all on camera. Fool me once, brother. It was down under your chair. Let me see that. Look. Let me see that, though. I need that sweet hit of nicotine. You've let Francis get nicotine high. Yeah, you can hit it. And he's been fucking. He's been on one since then. I want to feel that. It same. did help. I was. I want to feel that same. I'm not even the a rush for the audio listeners. There is no rush, and I really have to quit. Oh. My mom calls me, and she's like, "Stop vaping now!" <laughs> and I'm like, "I know." <laughs> she does that. She FaceTimes me, and she looks in the camera, and she goes, "Wrong. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> get it." I don't have it. I'll end the show right now. If you I gave it. it back to you. Come on, get it. it. That's so annoying. Francis has it. I literally, it's probably. Right oh, you me. mean this thing? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna get us to William Randolph Hearst levels, just being pranksters. Yeah, William Randolph it. Hearst, Harvard man. Was he? Of course. What are you doing? I'm getting your vape for you. No. We don't want you to end the show, Seth. We're gonna get this for you. Jesus Christ! We're gonna get into a 127-hour situation. Francis is gonna have to saw his own arm off after getting wedged in between. Your long sack and my tight sack. Oh, oh wow. It is hard. This but is all your fault. It's in the crevasse. Here, brother. See? It was there the whole time. Little did you know. Stop. 
hit that shit and close us out. Hit that shit and close us out, Sass. All right. Well, wait. Thank how you many guys. subbies are we at? We've gotten less. <laughs> we've lost subscribers. Fuck. No, we're at <laughs> fourteen. Never paid any mind to my mother and friends. At ninety-eight one. Ninety-eight one. Let's go. There we go. Well, Nine, subscribe 9, to the show. Eight hundred and one. Ninety-eight thousand one hundred. That's pretty good. Subscribers. Yeah. So we're almost. When we get that plaque, what are we going to do with what it? Did are we, we putting last it? Time like two thousand. We had two thousand subscribers. <laughs> yeah. yeah about oh, that. subscribers. Subscribers. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, we'll see you guys so, next week. Check us out in. I'm going to be in Portland next week. Oregon. Oregon. And then I'm going to be in Chicago the week after, which we added another show for Jesus Friday. Christ. So that's the last show that I'm adding. So go get tickets for that if you want to see it. And then I'm in. Uh... Dude, what is in that thing? I am in outer space right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm in... What was that? And then I'm in Raleigh. Does my voice sound good? <laughs> yeah, that's that. So go see those shows. And Francis. How about Francis? Is... Where can we see Francis at? Uh, you know me, I'll be at, uh, well, I've got Boston actually coming up. That'll oh, hell fun. yeah. Boston, Lap Boston. That's the first weekend of November, I think. And those are, that's selling pretty quick. So go, go to FrancisSells.com. After that, I've got uh, Providence and Toronto and Toronto. Arlington, Arlington Draft House. Too, Said correctly, though. Our, our listeners respect when we say Toronto right, when we say Boise correct, mm. when we say Nevada right. We mm. want to pronounce shit right in here. That matters. I think uh, that matters. And I have uh, a pop punk show at the Ocean's Calling this weekend. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, festival. We're playing a festival. Sold there, out. It's already sold out. John Mayer's like headlining. after party <laughs> or something at, at the hotel that you're at? We were doing a meet and greet on the Friday night at the hotel that we're at. That hotel. Yeah. My buddy, my buddy is part of that hotel in ocean city maryland yeah and he was hoping he, he he's hoping you guys will promote it this That's, is us promoting it this is us promoting it. what's the name of his hotel you tell me i can't remember God damn it. It wherever you're staying it's this beautiful hotel it's we're really staying nice they at. just redid the whole they thing they redid it's, it's crazy ocean city maryland check our socials we're going to be posting all about it friday night meet and greet maybe we'll play some songs i don't know i don't know pop Sick. punk come come rock with us come see us Son of a boy, dad, coming out Tuesday. And then once again, we'll be live next Wednesday. Awesome. Sounds good. See you guys soon. Great fucking shit.